This is where you ran off to. Where's Zay Test? Brewing with any luck? She said she had friends around who could help but wouldn't tell me where they were. What do you mean Cicero knows poisons too? Cicero! Stop dancing and get over here! We could use what brain you have left. What are you doing here? Well, I have some good news. Did you find him? No, but I did find Hegatha. Or rather, she found me. How is that good news? Uh, you're not any more dead than normal. <laughs> no. Our encounter was apparently a spell away from ending gravely, but I don't think she was expecting me to turn invisible and stop breathing. <sighs> right, Dom, I'm... You've... Okay, I'm so confused. What happened? You have good news? Yes. One thing at a time. The good news is she's not working with Mordgood. Right. I can see we need to take this from the beginning. What in the name of Xarxes' wife happened? Well, Hegatha made a surprise visit to Redwater Den and we sort of set each other up. She thought I knew where Ingrath was. I wanted to stall her and give you and Zaytest more time. Which I did and got some useful information out of her. Like what? I must have struck a nerve because the conversation devolved into her telling me her plan. I assumed she had no intention of letting me live. I also assumed she didn't expect me to go invisible when she paralyzed me. After she left, I tracked down Mordgood and asked her what she knew. Believe me, that girl couldn't lie her way out of a thatch lean-to. There's no way in oblivion she's working for Hegatha. That's... good. The part about her getting paralyzed isn't, but I'm glad we're at least not up against a werewolf as well as an inquisitor. I'm honestly not even sure what that title entails, other than torture. Pretty much. As far as I'm aware, it's a combination of interrogation, intimidation, and... I suppose extraction is a good word and the skills necessary to accomplish those things. Makes sense. And if we know what her skills are, we can prepare for them. Know the enemy and all that. Precisely. Which is why the fact I got out of that alive is good news. How much information can you keep straight in your brain? With that particular choice of words? Arden, not the time. <sighs> Sorry. Nerves. Yes. Many, uh, I suppose it depends on how relevant the information ends up being, but quite a lot. Good. Do you want to know the plan first, or do you want to know what she's like first? I want to know about her. If I know about her, I can interpret her plan in a more meaningful way. That's the advantage of knowing all parties involved. She knows herself, and she knows Ingrath, but she doesn't know me, and she really doesn't know they test. Good man. Hegatha is prideful and loyal to the Dominion. My guess is you won't be able to reason with her, or at least you won't be able to get her to turn coat. She's adaptable, but comes across as stubborn, so don't let the mask fool you. Ingrath means a lot to her. It's personal between them. He was the one that got away, and she wants to bring him back alive, presumably to prove to her higher-ups that she's the best in the business. She sounds like a pettier, slightly more ladylike version of Onkano. I think I can work with that. What can she do? She can paralyze people, obviously. She's got a powerful enough version of a fury spell that the body eats itself without an outlet, or so Mordgood tells me. She's also fond of shock magic and is, in fact, bristling with silvered weapons. I doubt she's a master swordsman, but I suspect she's probably better with a blade than you are. 
most people are. So, don't get caught out by... Well, any of us spells, basically. That's the plan. I haven't had the pleasure of testing her shock magic, but her paralysis spells are, in fact, strong enough to keep someone from breathing. For you and I, that isn't as much of an issue. And I'm pretty sure Ingrath doesn't need to breathe either unless he's gone... Goat mode? <laughs> I'd say it's more like an elk or a deer, but yes, that. Right. Strong but frightful, mostly mage, probably fights like Ankano, and she'd rather take Ingrath back alive rather than dead. I can certainly work with that. Confidence looks good on you. Thanks, but I'm not sure if it's confidence or vengeance. So we know who and why, but not what. What's the plan? Use Dawnguard patrols to herd Ingrath into Whiterun Hold somewhere. Did you say herd him? I did. Her words, not mine. Herd him. Not track him. Using his fear against him. And... I think we both know him well enough to know it'll work. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Oh. And I think I know where he'd go. Oh? Maybe. It's a bit of a wild hunch, but when he gets scared or upset or otherwise, he does the same thing I do. Except instead of turning to Mara, stand off a help he prays to her and Mephala. I don't know anything about Mephala, other than what little I've gathered from working with various Dunmer over the years, but her scene used to have a druidic cult in the area. Oh, and where did you come across this knowledge? It wasn't me. Zaytest spoke with a hunter the other day and found a book. The Ancient Druidic Rites of Hercene, Volume <gasps> 2, I think. Assuming that they're true, and they might be, considering that the Reachman controlled a lot of Skyrim at one point, it's not unreasonable to imagine that he knows about some of the ritual locations used. Or, if he's really weird, Hercene himself might guide him there. I don't know, I don't know how Daedra work and I'm not exactly the priestly type, but assuming all of that is true, there is one place in Whiterun Hold where he could end up that is both ritually significant and out of the sun. And where might that be? Bloated Man's Grotto. It's a cave at the south end of the Hold, just off the road, around the same place as the path through the mountains to Lake Ilanolta. I believe it tends to be guarded by Spriggans? And if so, that's exactly the kind of place he'd go to hide. No way to be certain, but that's the best idea we've got, I think. Do you have a plan? Me? No, not beyond. Get as much information together as possible and see what you come up with. The fact that Hegatha played into my spur-of-the-moment gambit threw me for a bit of a loop as far as my planning goes. Well, I'm not exactly a master of chess, but I do know war better than I did when I got here. Is this war? Considering how ugly things will likely get when I find that woman? Yes. <laughs> Careful, Arden. Your Harkin is showing. Good. Maybe I'm finally growing into the title. I'll try not to misuse it. Right. So, Lord V, what's the plan? Head there with Zaytest and wait for him? No. That's... unexpected. I know. I hate the idea. But I know that if he smells us anywhere around there, he'll bolt again because he doesn't want Hegatha anywhere near me. Was a test, probably. And I can't think of any other way to do it. What do Kano do? That's an odd tangent to take. Not if I'm trying to figure her out. How... Right, I think he got assigned to Winterhold knowing I'd show up, and might have even engineered that himself. Oh, no, 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 this is too different. I... I can't use that here. I don't know, maybe you can. If anyone can figure out how to apply that to this, it's you. Uh, no, see... I'm emotional. Right. Now, that's their whole thing. Manipulating people, because people do stupid things when they get emotional. Usually. Some people get smart when they get angry, and those people scare me. I'll take that as a compliment. Sweet Mara. Anyway, 
Yes, okay. Her plan was, is, to scare Ingrath into running, which she did. Which, if she knows him as well as I do, which I'll assume is the case since I don't want to underestimate her, means she probably knows about the grotto as well, which means she might already be there waiting for him. That's... on first glance, not good. But we could trap her there and deal with her by sheer strength in numbers. We could. But then we'd risk losing track of Ingrath. There is one thing. I think I can apply to this situation from Oncano, and it's that the Thalmor get cocky when they think they're winning. They make mistakes. Oncano was better than me, Oncano was stronger than me, and Oncano died because he thought he could control a power that none of us could ever hope to understand. And how do we get Hegatha to make her own world-shattering display of hubris? We let her think her plan is working. We let her have Ingrath. What? Arden, are you completely out of my mind? Yes, most likely. But that's the only thing I can think of that would put us in a position to deal with her without losing him. I... If there's another way, I can't think of it, and believe me, I've been racking my brain over this because I... I can't lose him. Not to her. And... Hegatha is better than we are. She's stronger. She's smarter. She doesn't know me. And if she thinks she does, she's wrong. She won't expect us to gamble him, because she knows we value him too. Oh, I see. A double gambit. I could see us turning this into a kind of... Black Marsh Deemer situation? Oh, uh, uh, never mind. I'm sure that makes sense to you. What do we have at our advantage, Dom? We have surprise, and we have numbers. And we have speed. Zaytest is pretty fast. I'm faster. In fact, I think I'm faster than you, Lord V. I just haven't got a chance to show it off yet. That's... good. So we have slightly better odds. Our surprise, speed, and numbers against her easily defended position, strength, and potential leverage. Which... I hate to think of Ingrath as leverage, but in this case... I know exactly what you mean. He is. And she has a spell or two that could potentially kill any of us on contact if we go in unprepared. We have the poison, assuming Zaytest pulls through. We can prepare for his spells, with probably more potions actually, if they work on us. Magic resistance. I could charm up some enchantments, but it would take a while and I don't know how much time we have. Nor do I know how we'd go about surveying an area without alerting relevant parties that were actually around. Well, this is why you have two cats and a dog, no? How long have you been standing there? How d Did you do it? I think so. Nothing exploded, which is usually a good sign. And long enough that I heard... Uh, enough. We're using red as bait so we can trap both of them in the same place, yes? You seem very lax about the idea. Eh. It is what Ingrath would do. You forget he's the one who trained me. Before I met him, I was a simple courier, speedy but unskilled. And one of the things he taught me was that to catch a wolf, you need bait. This only makes sense. Does... that mean you have a plan? <laughs> I never have a plan. Plans usually get screwy the moment you try to work them. But I have many ideas. You're the one with the plan. Right. Oh, interesting. So Arden is our strategist and Zaytest is our tactician. This should be good. And what does that make you? Your backup, in case something goes wrong. Fair enough. So, yes, the plan is... How do we scope out a cave without letting anyone know we're in there? Two cats and the dog, all of whom have very good noses. I can go invisible in such a way that I leave no smell, and Garm smells like... Eh, slightly bloodier than normal regular dog. As long as you three stay away from the cave, Garm and I can go sniff around the entrance and see if anyone is in there. Once we figure that out, we can do more planning. Us three? Eh, yeah, you, Arden, and Inigo. Inigo has a very distinctive smell to go with his very distinctive coat. No offense, my friend. Bait is okay. 
Besides, I want to have two strongish people waiting outside on the off chance that one of the two escapes. Or do we need backup? Or both. Right. And how will we know if, for example, Hegatha beat us there? Ho oh, ho, we'll know. I know they smell of Thalmor, they smell like angry sky and smugness. <laughs> yes, and this particular one will likely smell like silver if that helps. Mm hmm. Okay, so let's get going and figure things out when we get there. I have the juice. If she happens to be in there alone, I will tell you. If both of them end up being in there, I shall probably tell you both in a bit more panicked of a fashion. Until the trap is sprung, you three shall wait somewhere nearby and out of the general direction of the wind so he cannot smell you. You really are his kid, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Sometimes. I suppose this will be my chance to prove it, no? You don't have to prove anything. Come on. Time is of the essence and I'd like to get there before sunrise. So, do you know where these place is that we're going? Uh, supposedly. Um... Right, I did say down south end of Whiterun-ish. Are those Imperials? What are they doing here? Stormcloaks, I think. Oh, no, just Dawnstar Guard. How can you keep the dog around? Uh, you sort of get used to him after a while. Sort of. Ish. Um, right. What do you think would be the quickest way there? Either through Labyrinthian or... Just straight down the road. Eh, I think probably straight down the road and... Possibly cutting through the tundra? That'll work. I don't think the dog much likes having vampires around. You know, that's really funny considering the fact that he's actually a death hound. Oh yeah. Statue of Lady Debella up there. Lady Debella. Right. I was just thinking we should probably be more stealthy about this. I thought you said you were faster than Z. I am. Um, I would put that on display for you right now, but I'd rather not piss off the local guards. Understandable. If we see any Dawn Guard on the other hand, they're fair game. I don't really like the way you said that. that exactly? Oh, you know. <laughs> yeah, that was scary. Sorry I wanted to stay back, because, you know, bow and all that. I understand completely. Uh, of course. Quickest way around this fort. Doesn't really matter. Jeez. 
things faster than the one would expect. Hehe, <laughs> better keep up. Not the best idea. Well, there is one person. We seem to have lost Zaytest and Arden. I'm sure they'll catch up eventually. Found her! <coughs> eh, just follow the sound of a barking dog, we'll find them eventually. <laughs> Sorry about that, lost you in the trees. Okay, those are adventurers. I hope. Could be trouble. Oh, nope, I've seen them around before. Well! Someone's been hunting dragons. Well done. Those are some spiffy robes. Mm -hmm. I'll see. So, uh, are you holding up? Me? Uh huh. Uh, you know. That's it? Just, yeah, you know? Uh, well. I mean... How would you be holding up if something like this happened to Inigo? Well... Uh, I mean, I'd be pissed. But, uh, we don't have that kind of relationship, you know? can't read people. <laughs> yeah, you do a better job than you think. Oh, well, this should be fun. <laughs> you wanna get him? I'd rather see what you can do, frankly. Fair enough. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Never seen someone, uh. single headed troll before? Uh, no. Never. Um. That's a bit terrifying. And now, of course, I'm wondering. Just how much more powerful you are. And I'm guessing the... The answer is a lot more. Eh, yeah, buzz off, puppy. God will eat your face. the farm. I 
much as I'd love to chat with Kerway, I don't really want to bother her at this hour. Who? One of the farmers. Ah, I think I understand. you understand? Well, you know, uh, she has this whole thing. Oh, bandits. Are we handling them? Uh... No. I'd rather not show off in front of the guards. Yeah. Considering what you can do, I don't blame you one bit. Ah, beautiful night. Chasing after my favorite spawn once again. Everything smells a little wilder when the sun goes down. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you just call Ingrath your favorite spawn? Well, I did turn him. Oh. This looks like it could be fun. Uh, we're sort of on a mission. Do you, Are you really... You are, aren't you? I am. Hello, friend. I could let you take care of it. Don't think there's any more. Though, to be fair, I don't really... have much of a nose for this kind of thing. I don't really have much of a nose at all. Well, this is why you're traveling with a Khajiit and a dog. Two Khajiits and a dog. And a Dominique. Yeah. Okay, right, navigation. There's Bleak Falls Barrow. The place we're looking for is sort of in that general area, but to the west of it. Got it. I think I know where you mean. Should we be just running through the uh, tundra like this? We are inviting all kinds of danger. I mean, true, but any kind of danger that Dom couldn't handle? Yes, yeah, well, that's fair. And I mean, between the one, two, three, four, five of us? <laughs> We would probably be fine. Is that... I don't know. Um... Are you finished ogling the grotesque? I suppose I should be grateful you didn't simply attack me. Yeah, be on your way. All right, then. That, uh... You all right? Hmm, not really. 
I feel like an idiot. I should have seen the boots. <laughs> Nobody ever looks at the boots. Hmm. Ideas. You'll be alright. Yeah. Cause that gave me a fright. And hope. Always a dangerous prospect. Ugh, don't give the man hope. <laughs> oh, when you put it that way. <coughs> yeah, I know, in a go. My throat is... I should probably just... Hello. Sometimes I just get lazy. At least it wasn't a Dawn Guard person. Patrol. Right, it should be around here somewhere. So, we'll want to be kind of careful. Right. I feel like I know where this place is. I also feel like I might have lost it. Hello. I'm surprised we don't have any va um werewolves about. That we've seen, anyway. Skeletons on that ridge over there. So we've got necromancers about, if nothing else. Eh, always fun. You want me to snipe them? No, save your arrows. You might need them. Here we go again. Are you kidding me? Well done, Garm. Good boy. Oh, <laughs> jeez, don't. Oof. What? I did just. Uh... Don't worry about it. There's the Shrine of Ifray. Right, so we should be quite close. What is this, I wonder? Uh, a puzzle. this place, I wonder. Uh, do you want me to go check? I think so, yes. That might be it up there. I'm trying to find a good spot that we can sit back and wait for you without being on the road but I'm not finding such a place well <laughs> hello friends very large friends
think the pass must be through there. Oh, what do you know? Remind me never to piss you off? Yeah, no kidding. I'm sorry, those weren't any of yours, were they? Uh, no. Gods. <laughs> uh, that was... You're a terrifying lady. Thank you, I'll take that as a compliment. So yes, I think we were staring at it. Which means... We'll stay here. You follow the path, or the smell I suppose, of... Dead vampire bodies. Heh, <laughs> can do. Right, Garm? Let us go see what we can see. And not deal with those giants. We must be cautious and sneaky. Do not see anything on the path. Which is always good. It smells like flowers and blood. And ferns. And mushrooms. Mmm, it's a bad idea. Sometimes, Carl, I am too uh, impulsive for my own good. Hopefully, you are a little bit better than me. Okay. Nocturnal. I have never done this before. Let us see what we can see, no? Not good. Shh, 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 shh. Be quiet, Garm. Be quiet, Garm. She's in there. It is bad. Yes, it's bad. Okay. Mr. Garm. We must be very quiet. Okay? You understand? Oh, good boy. Well, awkward boy. Yes, I know. I smell like cat. Come on, let's go. Mr. Carl! Oh, you are indeed following me. Good. Shh. Oh, you're using your inside voice. A little bit. Kind of. You are a good puppy. No? Very good puppy. Okay. Where? Over here. Thank you. Mr. Garm. Here we are. Hey, good news. We do not have to worry about hiding our scent. That is a loaded ballista of a statement. What did you find? Well, it stinks like dead spriggan. No sign of red. But I'm pretty sure Hegatha is in there, masking her scent. How can you be sure it's her? Eh, uh, well, we're only expecting one person. And she left footprints in the mud. 
Based on the size and weight, those prints were most likely left by an old murder woman. Good eye. And a good nose. I wouldn't have thought to look for prints. Uh, I wouldn't have either. Except that we saw that guy with the elven boots earlier. Earlier? And Dom pointed it out. <sighs> and now all we have to do is wait some more again. I am ready to go if you are. Yeah. What do you think about all this? I'm thinking the stars look amazing tonight. Fair enough. You are still busy? Remember to get me when you are done. Eh. Well, we won't be done until we see. Can we see it from here? Huh. We might be able to, but you might be a bit too short. Got it. Good boy. Ah, uh, this is gonna be fun. And now we wait. And now we wait. And now we wait.